Now to campaign 2016, still being dominated today with the talk about the health of both presidential candidates. While Hillary Clinton recovers from pneumonia, Donald Trump has revealed he will let the TV host doctor, Dr. Oz, reveal the results of his physical. CBS4 anchor Elliot Rodriguez joins us from the control room with more. Elliot. Talk about unconventional, right, Ruta Bay? Donald Trump will appear on Dr. Oz on Thursday to discuss his recent medical exam. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton is off the campaign trail as she recovers from pneumonia while some heavy hitters are stepping in for her. It is good. It is good to be back on the campaign trail. Hillary Clinton got a big name supporter campaigning for her in Philadelphia today. He's not really a plans guy, a fat guy. He calls himself a business guy. But America's got a lot of business women women who who succeeded without hiding their tax returns or leaving a trail of lawsuits or workers who didn't get paid. Clinton is still resting at home from pneumonia, which was only made public after she stumbled into a van Sunday. The campaign is being criticized for not revealing the diagnosis earlier. The staff acknowledged they screwed up. Donald Trump has also been criticized for not providing medical information and says he will release numbers soon from a physical he underwent last week. Campaigning in Iowa, Trump slammed Clinton for calling half of his supporters a basket of deplorables. Her comments displayed the same sense of arrogance and entitlement that led her to violate federal law as Secretary of State. Former President Bill Clinton will step in for his wife at some campaign events and suggested one role if she wins to CBS4 This Morning anchor Charlie Rose. If you sent me to Puerto Rico to figure out how they could work their way out of bankruptcy, I could do that. A new NBC News poll shows Trump closing in on Clinton. He's now trailing by four points. Now, Donald Trump will outline his plans to make child care more affordable during a speech tonight in Pennsylvania. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.